mi boy. trying my best to just let's just keep going let's just work through it and just wait till it's gone um but yeah i'm super excited to be trying um the new shook palette from revolution this is absolutely stunning so we've got 36 colors we've got six massive transition shades at the top um and then 30 eyeshadow colors as well um and yeah i'm just super excited to get into it see if um it's worth the hype that it's been getting and see quite frankly whether it deserves its title of shook now a huge oversized eyeshadow palette called the shook palette i am expecting big things from this so um yeah let's just crack on and see what see what we think see what happens see if we're actually shook by this okay so first thoughts are that it's ruddy huge which i love i am all about anything being extra i will travel with this no problem just take a bigger bag there's cool shades there's warm shades there are neutral tones there are really really vivid pops of color <gasps> do we have do we have oh my god oh my god there's stuff to peel off the mirror bear with oh, is that not just the best Get off. Right, let's just crack on then and see what um see what we get out of this here palette. Let's right, so first of all, I'm gonna go and prime. That's what I'm gonna do first. I'm gonna prime these ear lids. Oh my god, I'm not feeling well, guys. I'm really not feeling well. Right, they are primed, so let's crack on. Um I think I'm gonna use um this second shade for a transition shade which is called compliment so let's get going going in with compliment there Ooh, pigment okay 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 so that's gone on really really well impressed so far okay what do i want for a crease type situation i think what i'm gonna aim to end up doing is using this gorgeous kind of um bright teal color called aquatic and i think that's gonna be kind of the main uh, lid color and i'm thinking i'm gonna use this dark kind of forest green that's also a bit of a shimmer to it called leaf it out and i think i'm gonna kind of use that more towards the outer corner um so with that in mind i think i'm going to start in the crease with this um kind of warmish um orangey brown nude down here called fabulous so let's start with that one in the crease dub, dub, dub. oh my god these are so pigmented <gasps> right let me just bring you in close actually okay is that a bit better can you see that a bit better um yeah that is that is that is pigmented damn gina wow god just look how nicely that's blended as well oh god that has just blended so nicely <gasps> look at the blend okay okay i'm not right i'm not getting too excited i'm not gonna get too excited but oh they might have did something oh right okay oh i'm not gonna get the other out of match now am i <laughs> come on positive thinking come on okay well that shade is really well named because that is definitely fabulous oh my god <laughs> right what can i put in next what can i put in next 
So I think um, on top of that, hmm, I think I'm gonna go in with this one, which is more of a, again, a warm toned, more of a ready brown um, called Lust. And I'm just gonna go in and deepen up the crease with that one. I might just switch though to a smaller brush. Yep, you look perfect. Right, so I'm gonna use this one, which is a bit of a smaller fluffy brush from Revolution again. And this is part of the Champagne collection. So I'm gonna go in with uh, Lust. We'll just lay that and see see where that gets us, shall we? Do you ever get does anybody <laughs> do you ever get worried like when you start a makeup look, particularly an eye look, and you know you want to do a bold or colourful or you know you want the emphasis to be on the eyes and it starts and it's working and you think, yes, do you ever get like the fear that it's just gonna all go wrong and it was going so well? Because I do. And I've got it now. And I like, don't put it on my eye. Because I'm so impressed with this colour. <laughs> Can I just stop? Can this be my look today? Is this done? Ooh. That is gorgeous. Oh my god. Right. It's been like years that I have been banging on about revolution. And the pigments. And the quality. And just how brilliant they are as a company. But oh my god. What have you done recently? <sighs> Okay, and then I'm going to go back to the original brush and just blend that a little bit. Look at that. That has just added some really nice dimension to that crease without turning it muddy. I can definitely still see the first shade and I can see that kind of ready brown shade we just put on as well. It does come out quite red in real life. Um... Oh, you're cheering me up now. Oh, you know, and you're not well as well. And like, <clears throat> nothing tastes proper. I'm like drinking my favourite drink in the world and it just tastes like me. <laughs> nah, I love you. Sorry, voice message to Paul. Bar. Right then, see if we could do it with the other eye. I don't know if you can hear me, Charlotte's downstairs really singing in the shower. <laughs> Like there's a full pop concert going on down there. It's brilliant. Okay, loving that one so far. Um, do I want to go in with any more of that red? I don't think I do, but... Yeah, maybe just there. Maybe I'll just even that eye out a little tiny bit. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Right, okay, so um, I don't think I want to go in with any more of that ready colour, but I do want to deepen it further. So I think I'm going to go in with the one next to it, uh, which is just kind of a deeper version of that ready brown uh, called Vibe. Um, so I'll just use the same brush. And I think what I'm going to do there is just concentrate this more on the outer corner, that kind of outer V, and then bring that when I blend it just through into the crease a little tiny bit. That's what I'm intending. Whether that's what happens, we don't know, but just know that, that was my intention and I'm doing my best, okay? Okay, and then the same brush to blend. There we go, oh my God. The difference that's made i really really am loving this palette and it's kind of like worrying me how much i love it because i don't want it to like suddenly go wrong <laughs> right let's try and make the other eye match then <laughs> so don't know whether to use the dark leaf it out on kind of the main bit of the lid and then the aquatic kind of on the inner corner or whether just to go for the aquatic on the whole thing. Let me just swatch them then and see what they hold up like next to the eye. So that is leaf it out. Oh, that is gorgeous. That's like the most beautiful, look at the reflect on it. That is like the most beautiful like beetle green, if that makes sense. And then we've got this one, which is the aquatic. Oh my God, I love it. 
So I'm maybe thinking this one contrasts a lot more and would stand out a lot more. So I'm maybe thinking use this one on the lid and then a touch of this one kind of at the join between this, the kind of dark, between the dark ready brown, the vibe on the outside. So maybe we'll use uh, leaf it out on the join. Let's, let's just try and see what happens, shall we? Because I'm already learning, and this is the only way that you do learn, just by having a go and having a practice and thinking, I wonder what will happen if I do that. Just do it. Just do it. Right, Um. so I'm going to use, I think I'll try it with my finger first, because that actually came out on my finger really nicely. So I'm going to go in with the Aquatic, which is this beautiful um, kind of bright teal shade. It does look a lot bluer in my viewfinder there than it does IRL, so let's just have a do, shall we? Right then, that, that's happening. Oh my God. This formula is ridiculous. This formula is amazing. <gasps> Can I just say as well, zero fallout. Absolutely zero. There is nothing landed on my face at all. I'm really impressed as well that well it's like packed over the kind of browner tones and the redder tones too. And it's it's kind of kept its it's shine and it's vividness. Oh my God, I love it. Right, let's do the other eye. Okay, so then I'm gonna go in with this kind of really densely packed, tiny dome brush from the Metals Collection from Revolution. And I'm gonna go in with the darker Leaf It Out shade and I'm just gonna very gently go over the join. Ooh, I'm loving that. Now I've been and deepened up those outer corners, I then want to go and think about the inner corner. So I think what I want to do, what do we think? Um, just on the inner, not the inner corner highlight yet, but just on like that inner third of the lid. Because um, I'm then going to switch to this teeny tiny brush that actually came from the Dusk range from Primark. And I'm just going to go back into the aquatic, the teal colour and just take that down into the um, inner third of my eye, um, just where I can't really get too precisely with my finger. We'll actually see if it performs any differently with a brush. Yeah, that still goes on super, super nicely with a brush. It's just, it's joining up with the rest of the blue that I put down um without it looking like yeah that's been applied in two different ways if that makes sense right i really really love it this so far so let me go and do the rest of my face and then we'll come back and we'll talk um love a lash line and we will talk in a corner and we will talk thoughts on this here palette bear with Okay, so we're almost finished with um, this look. I just want to go in and do the um, lower lash line and the inner corner before I put my mascara on. I've got everything else on, but I just want to go and do that before we put the mascara on. And then I'll tell you what else I've got on. So I think for underneath, for the lower lash line, I think I'm going to go in with... Um, Okay, so I think I'm going to go in with Lust on the lower lash line and then I'm going to put a little bit of Vibe just in that outer corner just to bring that together a little bit. And I'm using this teeny tiny little Real Techniques brush that I got recently. Oh God, I just love that stage. Just look at the difference between those two eyes. Mm, look. Okay, let's do the other one. Okay, so now that's done, I'm going to then go back in with um, Vibe, which was the kind of darker ready brown colour, and just pop that right on the outer corner, just to kind of bring that whole, like, when we've got to deepen the outer crease, just kind of bring that down a little bit and just kind of bring it together. Okay, I am loving it so far! Right, now onto inner corner, and I think the one I'm gonna use is Winter, which is the white, icy, um, shimmery color. I think I'm gonna use that one, 
but also this one is kind of talking to me as well which is this kind of very light champagne called valentine um okay well let's just try winter let's just try the white and see what we think and then we can always put the other one over the top of it let's just have a go so then i've got an even teeny tiny brush um so yeah let's just get into that one Okay, it's pretty but it's not kind of giving me the like pizzazz that I want it to have so let's kind of I'm gonna go and put some on this side but then I think we should go in with the champagne was it champagne yeah then I think we should go in with this kind of pinky champagne color called valentine oh no that's better that is giving a better finish like the winter like it, it was giving me the contrast i wanted for it in a corner but this one has just got a little bit more shine to it which gives that kind of just a nicer effect to it a nicer finish to it i think yep, yep i'm loving that one yeah i think that one works so much better as in in a corner definitely right let's just stick the mascara on and then and then we're done and then we can talk so i'm going in with the mascara revolution i need to get my hands on the waterproof one actually um but yeah for now we're on the original there we go that is the final look um what do you think i actually really like it um yeah um i kind of don't know what to say does this mean i'm shook does this mean the shook palette has me shook like has it worked has it done its job or is this what is this it are we shook um right then <sighs> let me just put you back a little bit so we can talk properly right so let's chat about our thoughts on this palette so for me i've just been so so happy with the way that the shadows have performed as a complete novice i just think this is absolutely brilliant if you're into um bright colors then there's some colorful looks there that you can do if you're into more neutral looks and muted looks then there's definitely that in there as well i would say there's a transition shade for everybody in there whether you just go straight into a pan or whether you mix a couple of them we've got some cool tones going on we've got plenty of warm tones and then we've got kind of the glitters the shimmers and then we've got the colors as well and the color selection for me there's quite a few you know if i'm in a mood for maybe a golden purple look there's definitely that up this end if i'm in the look for more of an autumnal orangey gold look or the browns and golds then there's definitely those in there as well if i'm in the color if i'm in the color if i'm in the mood for kind of pinks purples blues greens it's got everything it's got absolutely everything i'm actually hella impressed there and to say that i'm such a huge fan of revolution and have been for years from the beginning um to still be this excited and to for the brand to show that they're still evolving and improving and they're kind of not resting on the laurels um is amazing i think to, to be still this impressed with them and to still be being surprised by them and impressed this much by them i just think it's absolutely fantastic so yeah I love that one. I will definitely be reaching for that one time and time again. I think I would feel confident going away for a weekend and just taking this as an eyeshadow palette and knowing that I could deal with looks for the whole weekend, whether that's out for dinner, whether that's an event, whether that's just a day out shopping, whether that's just, you know, going out for lunch, whether that's going out on the town, like whatever. I would feel pretty confident that there's a look for whatever occasion in this palette. So yeah, I am suitably impressed with that one so thanks ever so much rev for such a fantastic palette um yeah your team just deserves all the props because you are constantly working and evolving and um you know sort of pushing and creating new new things so i can't wait to see what else is coming my god there is just so much stuff that you guys release on a regular basis but here i am still being excited about what's coming next oh, so i am back off to um Go and do the college run and get back to my sick bed and get my feet up and uh, get editing this lovely little video for you. Um, so yeah, 
let me know what you think down in the comments let me know what you think of the look let me know if you've got this palette and what your thoughts are on it um if you like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up please and let me know your thoughts in the comment section um make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already that would mean the world to me i love our little gang on youtube i love it so much um make sure as well you go and follow me on social media i'm um I post videos on Instagram as well, which everybody seems to be really loving at the moment. So thank you if you're one of the people that have been watching and commenting on those. Um, I have the best fun making Instagram videos. I really, really love that at the minute. So make sure you go and follow me over there as well. And I tend to be more chatty on Twitter. So make sure you come in and follow me and say hello and having a natter on Twitter with me as well. Um, have an amazing day, whatever it is you're doing for the rest of it. Remember, I love you very, very much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! There's no boy! Alexa! Just... Uh.